Hey guys, today we're going to be going over conditional statements, so if, else, uh, switch, and we're also going to go over regular expressions, and regular expressions can get pretty complicated, so we're just going to deal with the basics and how we can perform matches and, and all that. So I'm going to create a new folder inside of my htdocs web server, uh, or web folder, whatever. And I'm going to call this S7, S6. And I'm going to create my index.php. Okay, let's also move to that in the browser. So localhost slash S6. All right, so conditionals. We went over this in the JavaScript section, and PHP is, isn't much different. So we'll go through this real quick. So I'm going to open some PHP tags, and I'm going to create a variable of x and set that equal to 5. And we can set, open up an if statement. So same format as we did in JavaScript. So we're going to say if x is greater than 2, then we will echo out um, we'll actually, actually echo out let's do the variable x and then concatenate is greater than 2. Alright, so if we save this and reload, we get 5 is greater than 2. Uh, so let's change this, let's change x to 1. If we do that, we get nothing. So we need an else, we need to tack on an else statement. So else. Copy this. And we'll say is not greater than 2. All right, so one is not greater than two. So very easy stuff. Um, let's see, let's get rid of that. Actually, let's leave the X. And let's see, what can we do here? We can use and and ors just like we did in JavaScript. So let's say if, I keep doing that. We'll say if x is greater than 2 and x is less than 10. We'll say um, echo out x, concatenate. So x is. greater than 2 and less than 10. So let's change that x to a 4. And we get it because x is both greater than 2 and less than 10. So this is very simple stuff. Uh, we can do an, an else if as well. So let's do that. Let's do if x is equal to 10, then we'll say x is 10. Okay, so then we want to do an else if. Now in JavaScript, for some reason you have to have the else and the if split apart like this. In PHP, you don't, and I've always just had it all in one word. So it's just preference. Um, so we'll say else if x is equal to 2, then we will echo out x uh, is 2. And we can keep going if we want um, until we get the final else, with, which is just anything but the above. So anything but 10 and 2. 
So we'll just say echo x is not 10 or 2. All right. So right now we have x is 4. So if we, uh, we get a syntax error, unexpected is 2. Well, we forgot to concatenate here. You see we don't have the dot. On line 7, unexpected parentheses. Else if, else. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I put a parentheses after else, and we don't want that. You only want the parentheses if it's an else if. So we get 4 is not 10 or 2. If we change it to 2, we get 2 is 2. Change it to 10, and we get 10 is 10. All right, so that's that's else if, if else, whatever you want to call it. Um, so next we have switches, and switches work pretty much like the ones in JavaScript. Um, let's do a real quick one here. We'll say x is equal to 3, um, and then we want to write switch, and what we're checking here is going to be x. Okay, so switch, and then we want some curly braces, and in there we want some cases. So let's say case uh, two. If so, this is basically saying if x is two, then we want to um, yeah, we want to echo x x is 2 okay and then we have to break because if it is in fact 2 we don't want to keep going we need to break out of it so next we'll do case 3 and we can pretty much just copy this except we'll say x is 3 alright so next if it's not 2 or 3 then we want a default and default will we'll say x is not 2 or 3. All right, so very easy state switch statement. We reload, we get 3 is 3. Okay? Because case is 3, so that's what it's doing. It's giving us that. Let's change it to 5. Change it to 5. Oh, I'm sorry, I changed the case. I want to change x to 5. So we get 5 is not 2 or 3. All right, so that's it for conditionals. Let's move on to regular expressions. Uh, what a regular expression is usually used for is, is to match something against something else. And there's a really good uh, website or web page that really gets into regular expressions that I find to be pretty easy, especially if you're a beginner. Uh, and that's webcheatsheet.com slash php slash regular expressions dot php. So it tells us all about the basics. And here are some of the, this is the match syntax. Um, say we want to look for the word foo. Now, obviously if we punch in just foo, that's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, it's just looking for the string foo. Now if we have this little caret in the front of foo, we want a string that starts with foo. So that means foo has to be in the beginning. If we have a dollar sign on the end of foo, that means we want foo to be the last um, word or, or, or match in the string. So if we have the caret and the dollar sign attached to the foo, that means that we want foo when it's standing alone on a string. So it's the beginning and end of the string. All right, now brackets, if we put A, B, C into brackets, then we're looking for A, B, or C. Um, if we put A hyphen Z, 
in brackets we're looking for any lowercase letter so anything that's a to z that's lowercase um, this here this is going to match any character that is not an uppercase letter uh, this here will match either GIF or JPEG and this here A through Z plus means that there should be one or more lowercase letters uh, this uh, expression here is saying that we want any number dot or minus sign this here might look a little intimidating is looking for any word of at least one letter number or underscore so you can see we're looking for any letter with we have A to Z in both lowercase and caps so that's any letter and then 0 through 9 is any number and then or lower or underscore this here we have the parentheses and then we have brackets and we have W X Y Z so we're here we're looking for either W Y W Z X Y or X Z and this here is saying we want any symbol that's not a number or a letter and not is because we have this carrot here this final expression matches three letters or four numbers so we have A to Z but we only want three letters that's where this three is coming from in the curly braces and then we have zero through nine but we want only four because you can see four is in the curly braces so these are some there are there's a ton of you can find any kind of expression you want um, it's just the, the more you're narrowing it down the more of the expression you have to type and these are Perl compatible so if you've ever used Perl before in regular expressions and you have you'd have no problem with this and the common function that we use in PHP is preg match so that's how we can find something in something else so you can see here let's actually copy this this little piece of code So we're saying, let's see. Actually, we need the matches. Uh, so we're saying if preg match, and then whatever we always want to have these forward slashes. Whatever we want to match should be in between these these forward slashes. So in this case we're looking for uh, ELL okay so we're looking for that anywhere if we had a caret here at the beginning then this, this would be need to be at the beginning of the string if we had a dollar sign that would need to be the end of the string alright and what we're searching is this hello world and this matches this is just a, a third parameter where we can add this to an array of ma called matches so let's just save this and see what happens so we say match was found and we're actually echoing it out we put it in this matches array on the zero um, value so let's see let's change this up a little let's put a carrot here carrot is shift and six the number six on your keyboard now this we shouldn't have a match you see we have nothing because there's no matches if we take out this e this h e in the beginning and i'm sorry just the h now we have a string that's beginning with ell so we should have a match now we have a match all right so if we put the h back and then we let's say we want to search for hello we'll put h-e-l-l-o that's going to come back with a match now if i take away the caret and put a dollar sign that's not going to give us a match because what we're looking for is we're looking for hello to be the last string or the last um, word in the string so if i get rid of this and we make this 
just hello and save, we should get a match. Now, even if I added a caret at the beginning here, we should still get a match because hello is at the beginning and the end of this match or the pattern. So let's look at some other regular expressions. Let's just grab this here, this ABC. And we want to put this in between the forward slashes. Okay, so if we save this, we get no match found. And the reason for that is we don't have an A, a B, or a C in this string. So what if we put H, B, C? And that should give us a match, which it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, we need to have an uppercase H. So now we get a match. So if I go back and I make that lowercase again, now we can add on a tag. I should be able to put an I at the end here, and that should find a match. And the reason is this I is a tag that's saying uh, in case sensitive. All right, so we're matching either an uppercase or lowercase HBC. All right, so let's look at some other ones we have here. Uh, this one, which is any lowercase letter, put that in there. So that gives us a match. Um, any character that is not an uppercase letter, that'll match. Let's see, any number, dot, or minus sign. Let's throw that in there. And if we save that, that shouldn't be a match, all right? Because that's saying any number, dot, or minus sign, let's say hello one, that should give us a match, all right? So that's as far as I want to go on regular expressions. Uh, we won't really be using them in this series, but they're, um, it's a, if you want a good foundation in PHP, then um, knowing at least the basics of regular expressions is going to help.